Yo everybody, Born from Grave Forsaken here, and welcome to the latest Grave Forsaken video update. It is Saturday, 12th of October 2024, and we'd like to thank you for tuning in and being a part of the Grave Forsaken community, showing an interest in what we're doing here, and just generally being engaged with the band, and we just thank you so much for that. It's, uh, it's really good knowing that you guys are out there. So. Last week we got a few more views than uh, we normally do. So any new viewers who have come along, great to have you on board and I, I hope you're enjoying what we're doing here. I'm just going to keep this update pretty brief this week because more or less it's been a continuation of what we've been doing over the last few weeks. So as regular viewers of the YouTube channel will know, Recently, I submitted the Plugged Into the System remix for production on CDR, so that is on its way. So I have had confirmation from the manufacturers that, you know, they've got everything and it's in production. So because I'm in Perth in Western Australia and we're getting them done in Sydney, there is takes a bit of time for them to get the the physical cd and then once they're produced it it's got to get sent back here however the place we're using does provide the best value for money deal that i can find anywhere in australia by the time you factor in postage and quantities and overall cost per project that's definitely the best one that i've been able to find so that's why we're using them and it does mean that we've got that West Coast, East Coast thing going on, but that's fine. So I'm really looking forward to those turning up in the mail. So with the light, the whole reissue a few months ago, those just kind of turned up on my doorstep one day. So that, that was these ones here. So pretty much any day now, I'm expecting to see the plugged into the system remix arrive. So I'll be really looking forward to that and I'll let you guys know as soon as I have those. The other thing that I've been working on is now that that, and I'm repeating myself here a bit, now that that project is done, or I'm waiting for the, the CDRs to arrive, I'm turning all my attention to the 20 Years project and in particular the two new tracks that we recorded a couple of months ago. I've turned my attention to those and I've been working on the mix and just putting them all together structurally and getting everything right there. And today I actually got an opportunity to record my guitar solos. So I had been practicing along to the multi-tracks for, for a couple of weeks and being a Saturday afternoon, I was home. So I thought what better time to record the guitar solos and actually the guitar I used, I'll see if I can get it in frame, is this one. So this is one of my Squire Strats. You can see the, the tourniquet pick there that I used. So yeah, this is a really good guitar for that kind of sound and I enjoy playing leads on this particular guitar. So even though it's not a Fender, it's a Squire, I think it sounds really good and, and I like it. So that's the one I used today. Those people who follow our Facebook page and social media would have seen a few months ago that I had photos with my various guitars. Over the years, I've accumulated quite a few, more than I probably should. And on these recording projects, I'm trying to use them as much as I can, uh, use different guitars for different songs and just use the, the full range of gear that I've sort of accumulated over the years. Just on a side note, I'm kind of at the point now where I probably, for the foreseeable future, won't even let myself get interested in buying any more guitars. The sort of thing that I might see one in a second hand store or something and like the look of it, the shape of it, and if it's relatively inexpensive, sometimes I'll decide to buy them. And 
So I've ended up with quite a few that way. So none of them are particularly over the top expensive. They're really just uh, designs that I like. And so that's how I've ended up with, with a number of guitars over the years. But like I say, I'm trying to use them all and keep them all in good nick. So if, if, if I've got a guitar, it's, it's a valued piece of equipment that I use. That's kind of how I try to look at it. And yeah, going into the future, I'm happy now with what I've got and I'm not really sort of looking for more guitars and I pretty much stay away from music shops and secondhand shops because I don't want to see one and think, ah, oh, that would be a good one to get because, you know, just end up with more than I've already got more than what I need. So I don't want any more. So I'm happy with what I got, but I'm going to try to use everything that I've got going forward. So I'll leave this update there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate your support. Hope you're looking forward to that Plugged Into System remix and looking forward to the 20 Years CD. And yeah, just going to keep bringing you the news, keep bringing you the updates. We've got the podcast on Monday. We've got the mailing list on Wednesday. And we've got the video update on Saturday. So thanks, guys. And until next time... I'll leave you with my sign-out line. God bless and rock on.